Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a snowy or cold Friday here uh, on a snowy week um, in the city, uh, as I do each week, come to you uh, at the end of the week to talk a little bit about what has gone on um, and uh, highlight some of the things that might be coming forward. I think the interesting topic for today and perhaps the most important topic for today is snow and snow removal. Um, we all know what the city experienced um, uh, at the beginning of this week um, with regard to the uh, winter storm Izzy uh, that sort of pulled its way through here um, through the evening hours of Sunday and into Monday. Um, the unofficial totals, to official totals as of 11.15 in the morning on Monday were that 20 inches had fallen, and we all know that more snow fell after that. So uh, the city of Niagara Falls faced um, in excess of two feet of snow, uh, and with regard to some of the wind that came up, um, drifts that, that exceeded uh, three feet. Um, in many ways, uh, cities from Pittsburgh all the way here to Niagara Falls um, and many other cities uh, in and around the Great Lakes um, are struggling trying to get um, uh, back uh, to normal, normal traffic patterns. And of course, the city of Niagara Falls is no different. We are working within uh, the capacity of our staff as well as um, within the capacity of our equipment um, to not only make roads passable, uh, which I believe many are, uh, most if not all are passable at this stage, but now the effort will be to expand them, um, to try and get the uh, vehicles, excuse me, to try and get the snow pushed back um, uh, to the curbside. Now to do that, um, we're going to need uh, the cooperation of residents um, to avoid making the road more narrow by having cars parked on the street. Some communities, um, and I believe this is happening in the city of Buffalo, but some communities are towing, ticketing and towing cars. We want to avoid that. There is no reason for us um, to engage uh, with our fellow residents in further um, frustration uh, by having to uh, deal with a ticket and a tow uh, bill, towing bill. Um, so we're please asking everyone uh, to do your best to get the vehicles off the road, uh, try to find locations um, where the road has already been widened and you won't, you won't be interfering with uh, a plow coming through there. I'd like to tell you that there is a specific schedule that your neighborhood will get plowed on this day. That's impossible to do because we already have of our fleet of trucks, we have um, a little more than a half a dozen of them uh, that have uh, had a breakdown. So we're working um, to get those vehicles repaired and back on, on the road again uh, so that we can continue snow removal. At this time, I too want to thank um, our government partners um, at the State Department of Transportation, uh, the County of Niagara, as well as our neighbors in the town of Lewiston and the town of Niagara, along with uh, workers from the Niagara Falls Water Board for helping out um, in critical spot situations um, to help in getting the city to, to, to move forward again. Um, so this is gonna be an ongoing effort with regard to snow removal and with regard to widening the streets. Um, remember, uh, we have to find a location. Some of that snow will have to be trucked out of the location it's in. Um, if in fact the plows come back down your, your street, you can expect that there will be additional snow clearing you may have to do with regard to a driveway or a sidewalk. I experienced it myself um, in the driveway uh, to my home uh, before I went out. Um, saw a few vehicles that were stuck and assisted some operators in pushing their vehicles out. So this really is going to be not only all hands on deck from the government perspective, but also from a resident perspective. All of what we do in government service um, relies to some extent on um, the residents' cooperation and help. Um, we had imposed a travel ban early on Monday morning. Um, unfortunately, folks decided uh, they were going to operate differently. That presented some difficulties, especially on our main uh, roads. Uh, but we're all past all of that. And um, at this point, <clears throat> um, I'm just asking that residents uh, cooperate with um, our city crews uh, to get to allow them to do their work, and that is to make all the roads wider um, so that they're safer at the intersections as well. So 
Um, I really do appreciate the hard work um, of the men and women over at um, Public Works and Parks. Uh, this has been a challenge for them. They're residents of the city too, and they recognize the frustration that everyone has. Um, remember, in expressing your frustration, we're really sort of uh, being frustrated with our own. Um, the residents um, of this community are also um, the employees uh, at Parks and Public Works. So they're, they're all working very hard uh, to try and accomplish what we would all like, and that is to get the roads and the passageways, alleys, all back to normal. We also, for this past week, suspended trash collection, residential trash collection, in an effort to keep from having other large vehicles on the roads while we were trying to clear them. To make this very clear, to make this very clear, I will use myself as an example. This past week, this past week, I would have had trash collection and recycling collection in my neighborhood. With the suspension, this coming week, at the time at which there is collection in my neighborhood, I will only have trash collection. Recycling collection will then happen the week after. So it'll go back to that. It's, it's really on the same schedule. It's just that if you were going to get recycling collection this week, you will not get it next week. It'll be strictly trash collection next week in those areas. If you were only getting trash collection this week, um, you will get trash collection and recycling collection next week if that's what you were scheduled to have. In addition to the normal trash collection um, uh, uh, rules, Instead of just having three additional bags together with your bin, you'll be allowed to put out six bags um, with your trash bin. It's an effort um, uh, that we have discussed with Modern that while we were going to postpone the residential trash collection for this uh, week, that we can at least increase the ability to collect um, in, uh, in the coming week. So again, for all intents and purposes, if you have the collection schedule for 2022, then the only thing that is happening, it is as if this week occurred um, uh, as normal, except we know that we've suspended it. So as you look at the schedule, whatever next week is supposed to be on this schedule is exactly what it will be. And the only addition will be that you could put out six bags of trash with your bin. So I hope, I understand that some may find that somewhat complicated, but just to keep it simple, whatever you would have expected um, your collection to be next week, it's going to be that as well. That is not going to change. If it's trash collection only, you'll be able to put out six bags of trash with your bin. If it's trash collection and recycling in your neighborhood, then you'll be able to put both out as well as those six bags of additional trash if that's what you'd like to do. I understand that these next couple of weeks will be somewhat difficult as we continue to fight the snow and with the cold coming, um, but just we ask for your patience and your cooperation. We're working through this um, as quickly as we are able. Um, I know that uh, for both uh, you and I, um, it's probably not as quick as we all would like, but we are working at this um, within the, uh, the confines of what we have by way of equipment um, with respect to you know, um, our workforce, uh, I know that they are working, many of them have been working at, at double shifts. So they're working very hard. This was an incredibly intense delivery of snow over a short period of time. As I said, overwhelming local governments um, from Pittsburgh uh, all across uh, areas um, of the Eastern Great Lakes. So your patience with us um, is appreciated. Uh, again, um, as our crews continue to work toward this, we'll get to um, uh, clear, uh, clearing the roads and making sure that things go back, go back to normal. Um, we have um, continued uh, to advance some of our American Rescue Plan projects. Um, we have provided some much needed safety equipment uh, to our firefighters. Uh, they were operating with, <clears throat> excuse me, some um, incredibly dated uh, fire safety equipment. Uh, and so this past uh, week, we had the opportunity to get um, that uh, fire safety equipment updated uh, through the use of our American Rescue Plan uh, funds. So we're gonna bring more of those things to you um, in the coming weeks. Uh, there are a number of different projects 
that we are hoping to be able to start moving forward. Uh, again, it's going to be a pretty frigid weekend, um, and it's going to be rather cold all the way through into the middle of next week. So um, if you're going to be out and around, please make sure that you dress warmly. Um, remember uh, that while um, it has become almost a normal course of events, we're still dealing with the pandemic. We're still dealing with the virus. It's still important for those who have not been vaccinated, and there are, there are still folks out there like that. It's important for us, if they are family and friends, um, to have a conversation with them about doing that. It's also important that notwithstanding the vaccine status, uh, that we continue to respect um, all of the rules that have been imposed. Uh, we have face covering requirements. We're still uh, dealing with um, distance requirements. So all of those things continue to be in effect. I think sometimes we get a little bit um, comfortable because they've been around for so long and we, get, we, we, we relax a little bit. That's where the danger comes in. If we can make it through this winter, if we can make it through this winter, um, I think we may be seeing light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, so please be mindful of all of that as you go through uh, this weekend and in the days to come. And again, um, enjoy uh, this weekend. While it's going to be cold, it promises to be dry and clear. Uh, so if you are going to go out, uh, please make sure that you keep yourself warm. Um, and Sunday night, the Bills will do their best uh, to make it to the next phase of the playoffs. Uh, they are having an incredible run. Um, let's hope that when they get into Kansas City, they can do, um, uh, do the job and walk out of there with a, with a win. So until I talk with you again next week, enjoy the weekend.